Yo boys, what is good? So this video is for those of you who are trying to improve your win rate using supply and demand. This will also help you to spot setups that are more likely to go for high risk rewards and overall just help you do way better in the market. Now personally, when I'm in the live market, I only take these high probability setups because since I started using them, they just improved my win rate so much that I just really never looked back. But anyway, let me get to the explanation. So first of all, you're gonna need to know what fair value gaps are. Now I'd recommend watching a more in-depth video if you have no clue what they are, but I'll give a quick rundown for those of you who are just unsure. So fair value gaps are occur when there's imbalances in the market or just when buying and selling isn't equal. So you'll see fair value gaps all over the market no matter what pay you're on, what time frame, they'll just be everywhere. You can spot these when three candles have been created and they make a pattern like the one on screen. But I'll show you a few examples on NAS100 right here real quick. So where we are on NAS right now, we can see a lot of fair value gaps, but the biggest, most obvious one is just right here, I'll mark it out. This whole area right here is a fair value gap. Now, if I go a few candles ahead, we've created a new fair value gap right here. So we now have a fair value gap here. We have a fair value gap all the way in here. And we will just continue to create these as the market moves. Now you can get like an indicator for this if you're just starting out and it kind of points out all of them. It doesn't point out all the smallest ones though, which is a bit of a problem because the small fair value gaps still matter. But yeah, that's just if you're really unsure on it, you could use one of these. So hopefully now you have a basic understanding of fair value gaps. So with that being said, I'm now gonna show you how to implement that into supply and demand to drastically improve your win rate. So right here, we have a demand zone. If you don't know how to draw up supply and demand zones, then I do have a video on it. So feel free to quickly watch that if you'd like but we can clearly see that we had a big bullish runner here where investors were clearly left behind so when price comes down to anywhere in this area down here we'll likely see a big push up from where investors have bought stock at a better price now I'll quickly put a graphic on screen of what separates a high probability from a low probability setup and with our knowledge of fair value gaps we can see that one of the setups has a fair value gap attached to the zone whilst the other one the low probability one does not and it's really that simple i'm going to go through a bunch of setups so you can really get it in your head but basically i never take low probability setups because the high probability ones just hold so much more so for our first example here like i said we've got a big push up we've left this demand zone behind this is how i draw out my demand zones like i said i've got a video on it and right here we have a fair value gap attached to the zone now you'll frequently see price reject from these fair value gaps because they just wanted to fill in the imbalances which is why this is such a good confluence when taking supply and demand setups because price will very likely want to fill in this fair value gap and tap into the demand zone so if i move ahead a few candles price consolidated a bit and we get a breakout and we tap the demand zone and we can see that we get an instant rejection because price filled in the gap that it wanted to fill and it's tapped into the demand zone investors are buying they've got their discount price and we can see the next candle is bullish and for example my entry model is break of candle so i'd get an after this candle breaks stop loss below here and this is just beautiful like this is just a textbook setup to be honest and it's not like these setups are just really rare like they'll happen once a week no you will see these every single day now obviously that doesn't mean to just take every high probability setup that you see because there are many confluences that i need to see with these setups because if not i'm just going off filling in a gap but let me find some more high probability and low probability setups to give you more examples so i just want to show you the power of high probability setups in comparison to low probability setups so the example i'm about to show you was literally from yesterday on gj now once again we see a big push up we left a demand zone right here and once again this is high probability we have a gap attached to the zone right here. So now if we move ahead, price did play around quite a lot. But eventually we reached the demand zone and we filled in this gap perfectly as you can see literally filled in the gap tapped the demand zone and we rejected straight away this is how powerful high probability setups can be even when high volume comes to your zones it will still likely reject so with this setup once again you could get in a break of candle or you could get an aggressive but let's just be conservative and say we got in a break of candle obviously definitely not ideal this is a 22 pip stop loss on gj but imagine we did we would actually get away with a quick one-to-one. -one. Now, once again, let me remove these. We can see here that we've left another high probability demand zone. We've had a big push up right here. Investors have clearly been left behind. So when it comes back to this area and it fills in this gap right here, we may just see a beautiful rejection. I said may. The rejection wasn't amazing, but we instantly get this beautiful candle afterwards. And once again, I say beautiful, but it did come back down, but it was bullish either way. And next few candles, TP would have been hit instantly. Once again, say we got on a break of candle. Let me remove these lines. And yeah, we could have taken this up to liquidity or just even gone for a one-to-one. -one. That would have been an easy one to three nearly. However, once again, let me remove these. We have left behind another demand zone. Now this, as I hope you've noticed, is low probability. As we can see, there's no gap attached to the zone. Now, if we go back one candle, we can see that was a gap right here. However, it's not attached to the zone. We need to see our fair value gap right here, okay? We need to see it there. If not, it's a low probability setup. So we did fill this gap in straight away. We rejected a little bit because as we know, price likes to fill in these gaps and moving forward some, 
price will eventually reach this zone and we just went straight through it. As you can see, there wasn't nearly as many rejections. And even though the setup is pretty much the exact same thing, we have a break of structure. We've taken out some liquidity from the downside. It was actually quite a nice setup, but it was low probability. And so I wouldn't take this just because there's no gap in the zone. And that's literally it. Another thing that I wanted to quickly mention regarding high and low probability setups is that you'll surprisingly find quite a lot of setups that look like this, where basically each of these candles are completely equal. So if we draw our demand zone, these top wicks are perfect equal and believe it or not these are actually considered low probability even though it has this fat gap all the way down here this is still a low probability setup and we can see how it plays out it actually just got completely destroyed now obviously once again we've got to take other things into account so we are on a short-term downtrend obviously that could be a factor to why this failed but i'm just saying in general these are considered low probability setups just so you know now i'm just going to show a bearish example of high probability and low probability setups just because i've only shown demand setups today so yeah let's get into it so firstly here we have a low probability supply setup we can clearly see there's no gap in the zone this wick completely covers it there is no fair value gap here and so if we go ahead a little bit they just don't hold now you may be thinking is this a news candle um apparently not this was at 12 50 in the morning trust me ain't no news coming out then this is just a massive candle and uh yeah but it definitely did not respect this zone and if you'd prefer to instead draw up this zone once again didn't hold low probability setups from my experience do not hold that well okay that's all i'm saying and once again if we go ahead we did create this high probability setup right here now i'm not actually sure if this wins i'm not gonna lie to you Okay, no, I might look like a clown here. We have another one here, and we have another one here. Now, this is something to be careful of. Actually, no, this one I don't really like. Now, this is something to be careful of. This is why you want to enter trades based on reactions at the zone, because even though we have this zone right here, we also have another supply zone, pretty much the exact same setup, just above it, as well as some gaps right here. So it may just completely ignore this zone and go to this top one. Now, we don't see too much of a rejection here, but we do here, and let's just say we get an at break of candle, and maybe take it down to this liquidity here for a nearly one to four. And wow, it won. Once again, what is with these big candles? 555, there was no news there. <laughs> but yeah, that's why we just trade based on reactions at the zone, because if you were to take this sometimes, or actually quite likely, it will just go up to the zone above, fill in these gaps and react off this one, which is why I preach break of candle, because that's a good way to know if you're getting enough rejections to win or a trade. But yeah, man, that's about it for this video. Uh, subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed. If you want to get challenged with the prop firm that I'm with, the Forex Funder, then feel free to use code mango just because might as well mention that but yeah uh, appreciate you for watching hope you got some knowledge out of this and go back test this in the markets because i need you to see that this is this is real just look at your win rate in high probability setups compared to low probability setups it may just change your life forever but yeah anyway subscribe like comment uh join the discord follow the instagram and goodbye hope you have a wonderful day